Hey everybody, welcome to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. So glad you're here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to connect the Flysky IA6B receiver to the Wizard X220, the Eoshin Wizard X220 drone freestyle racing quadcopter. What you want to do is you want to take the little connector that I think comes with this or the Wizard, and then you want to plug it into the IO1 port, which is going to be... Uh, top uh, top left of the clean flight words on the flight controller board then what you want to do is you want to bind your receiver to your transmitter if you haven't already and then what you want to do is you want to set your transmitter in the in the settings in your transmitter set it to ppm for the receiver output and then what you want to do is you want to connect your quadcopter to beta flight in the configuration tab there's a little box that it says rx settings and then you want to set those to ppm and then after you do that save and exit you should be good to go now if that was all that you needed to know then um there you go but if you are were a little confused by that and you'd like to see me do it then stick around because I'm going to walk through the entire process of connecting the IA6B receiver to the Wizard X220 or more specifically the, the uh, Seriously Pro F3 flight controller board. Stick around. All right, the first thing you want to do is get your quadcopter, get all of the propellers, take the propellers off of the motors and take off the top screws so we can remove the top plate and remove the side plates if you still have them. I'm not using them on mine. And then here is our flight controller. Let me zoom in here. This is the brain of the quadcopter. Now you'll see, uh, let's see, so for reference, here's the USB port right there. And I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen of the kind of the schematic layout for this board that, and, and you can use this to, to find to figure out what all these little ports are and the pads and all that stuff so I'll leave a link to the manual uh, for this flight controller uh, in the description in case you want to learn more about it but in case you don't um, just follow along. We've got our receiver here the FSIA6B receiver and we have our flight controller and this is the port that we're going to use IO1. Now we're going to need a cable to connect these and either one of these will work. I, I don't remember where these came from actually I think either one of these is going to come with the receiver um, or with the quadcopter I don't remember I think this was the original one in any case the main point here is that we have a servo plug on one end and then we have three wires and we have our uh, signal positive and ground and now you'll see the rest of these wires on the on this plug have just been chopped off I don't think I did that so anyway either either style that you have will work I'm actually going to go with this one right here and what we're going to do is we are going to plug this end into if you're looking at the port in this in this direction it's going to be the far left side of that and so let me get some tweezers because this is kind of going to be kind of difficult to uh, to get a handle on so we're just going to put it into the far left port like this and then we're going to take the servo end, servo plug end, and then we're going to plug it into our uh, bottom, well, channel one. It's where it says channel one and PPM on there. We're going to plug it in, and we're going to put the black or the brown, uh, the ground wire is going to be downward. So it's going to be plugged in like this on, the, on this, these pins right here. Let's wiggle that in place. Boom, we are connected. If you have not bound the receiver to your transmitter yet, uh, now would be a great time to do that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to insert a bind plug into the bind port. And then you're going to power your quadcopter and receiver. And then you're going to press and hold the bind key and then turn on your quadcopter. And you'll have to make sure all the switches are up. And see, it says RX binding, but I've already bound it. Okay, now that we have the uh, receiver connected to the quadcopter, we're going to go into the transmitter here, and we're going to press and hold OK to enter the menu. We're going to go into the system setup. We're going to press OK. We're going to scroll down to RX setup. And then we are going to scroll down to output mode. Pre click on that. And you want to make sure that right on this left column here, the, the arrow is on PPM, so we can press uh, use these buttons to change which one that is set to, and that's set to PPM. And then if you press OK, you can switch over to this column. These don't matter. All we care about is the PPM right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to press and hold Cancel once you have it uh, set to PPM. 
press and hold cancel and then go back in and make sure it stayed set like that and that's it and then of course you can configure your transmitter um, however you want go check out uh, some of my other videos or maybe the wizard x220 setup guide that i have out if you want to learn more about setting up your transmitter all right the final step to make sure that the receiver actually works and talks to the uh, flight controller is we're going to plug our quadcopter into the computer and access Betaflight. if you don't know how to access Betaflight or what that is go check out my wizard x220 setup guide video and i explained the whole thing about how to get it and download it and all that stuff so i'm going to plug this into my laptop and make sure that you're using a uh, cable a usb cable that can transmit data um, and not just electrical power. Now I'm going to be really lazy here, and I am just going to put this in front of the, put my laptop in front of the screen, and walk you through this because it's very simple. Um, and so even if it looks a little small, I am sure you're going to be just fine. So we have it connected to our uh, laptop. I'm going to go to the top right corner of the screen of the Betaflight screen. Let me just make this full size. Top right corner of the Betaflight screen. We're going to click Connect. Okay, and we are connected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the configuration tab on the left hand side. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says receiver. And you can see here it already says, uh, maybe you can't, I hope you can. It already says PPM RX input. So on that little, on that little box, I am going to, if it's not already selected, I'm going to select PPM RX input. I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, click save and reboot. And then of course you can configure, if this is your first time setting up this quadcopter, you can configure this however you'd like. Again, go check out my Wizard X220 setup guide video if you want more info about that. Also one more thing, I'm not sure if it matters, but this is what under the ports tab in Betaflight, this is what my setup looks like. So you see in the configuration MSP UART 1 is checked and under serial RX column uh, UART 3 is checked and that is what mine looks like so just in case you have trouble um, you might want to check this and see if yours looks like mine and then we're going to click disconnect on the top right corner and so we should be good to go I'm going to disconnect this here from the USB cable I'm going to set my laptop aside and now we're going to test it out. We're going to turn on our transmitter because as a general rule you should always turn on your transmitter so that way it's transmitting to your receiver before your receiver even wakes up. Now we're going to connect the battery to our quadcopter, make sure that you don't have any propellers on your motors and um, your receiver, uh, your video transmitter rather, has an antenna on it. And we're going to plug in our battery. Okay, and we have power to our receiver. If you don't have power, if this LED is not on, double check the, the uh, connection um, at this at the little port on the flight controller because you might just have it um, not quite in fully or on the wrong pin or something like that. So now that we have that uh, and we've already bound our receiver and transmitter and I've conf I already have this configured um, in beta flight with the switches and stuff so I have an arming switch so I'm going to switch that to test it and it works! How do you like that? Also, with this uh, receiver and transmitter, you'll see here on the bottom it says signal. Well, it tells you the signal strength, but um, more importantly, it just tells you that you have a connection with your receiver and the arming switch and everything works like it should. Also, don't mind the, um, this motor's kind of loose. That's gonna have to come off. Uh, check, uh, check for another video about uh, swapping motors on your uh, X220. I'll have that out in just a little bit. So there you go. That's how you do it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments uh, below. Be sure to like this video if you thought it was helpful. Share it with somebody. And uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.